my name is Kay Ramos and welcome to my channel. This is a place where I share things that I learned from my walk with Jesus through Bible reading and journaling. So like you, I'm also learning and I'm hoping to inspire you with the things that I share with you here. So if that's something that would interest you, please like this video and of course click the subscribe button and the bell button so you will be notified on my future videos. On today's episode, I would like to take you along the process of my War Binder Creation or Faith Journal. So last December 2019, I bought a binder, a customized binder for the purpose of using it as my life planner this 2020. But as you know, things got messed up and my planner rendered itself useless. And now it's just basically lying on my desk doing nothing. So when I saw it, something clicked in my mind and I realized, hmm. This would be good as a faith journal or war binder. So, and also I think it is meant to be used for this. <laughs> First of all, what is war binder? So the inspiration behind war binder is actually taken from the movie War Room. In case you haven't seen it, go check it out because it's such an inspiring movie. So war room is a special place or room in your house where you wage war against the enemies through Bible reading, but most specifically through prayers. So technically, Warbinder is the portable version of that. So if you don't have a space, an extra space in your house to do a war room or to allocate for a war room, well, Warbinder is perfect and also you can bring it anywhere you go. I have seen so many setups on Instagram and Pinterest, but there is no one formula for a Warbinder. Because a war binder or faith journal is something personalized or customized for you. Because you know your needs, you know what you are aiming to accomplish with that journal. So basically, you design it matching those needs and aims. So today, I will attempt to make my own faith journal or war binder. But there's a challenge. So the challenge is to only use the things I have at home. By the way, your Warbinder or Faith Journal does not have to be expensive. It's just something that you can use and it will inspire you to strengthen your faith. I am so excited to do this and I'm so curious on what I can come up with. So let's go ahead and start. Step number one, identify what medium to use. So figure out if you want to use a notebook or a binder. Identify the pros and cons of using each. So for me, this is actually easy because every time I go to the store, it is a must that I will or that I should check the clearance section of the office supplies department. And like I said, I already have a binder which I bought last year. That's the one that I will use for today. It's here. It's here. Oh my gosh. Finally, I can repurpose it. So I like to use the half letter size binders because they're portable. You can easily carry them. You can bring them anywhere you want. You can put them in your bag if you want. So, but if you want to use a letter size binder, go ahead. So this binder, I actually bought this from Etsy and I can't believe that I bought this expensive binder. But it was a gift for myself last Christmas and I was planning to use it for my business. But things went sour so maybe it is meant for this purpose. And I like this because it has my name on it and I would like to support small business owners. Second tip is to identify the categories you want to include. Ask yourself, what am I aiming to accomplish with this faith journal or war binder? Then look back at your process, just like your daily quiet time or devotion and evaluate what you are already doing and what are the other things that you think you can improve. You can include those in your faith journal. Some of the categories you can include are prayers, scripture, gratitude, sermon notes, journal, inspiration, answered prayers, testimony, reflection, growth areas, Bible study, affirmations, God's promises, reference, photos, drawing, printables, letters to God, technically anything that you would like to include in your faith binder. So when I set it up last year to be my life planner for this year, I already created some categories but I looked through it and I decided to remove some of the categories that will no longer work for my purpose this time and decided to keep some of them. 
Next is to think what to add. But before I can figure out what to add, I have to decide first what not to include in my faith binder. So I will no longer add sermon pages because I already have a sermon notebook here. I will also not add gratitude pages because I already have my gratitude journal. I will not add um, planning pages. Well, I will still put my monthly planner, but I will not include like detailed weekly or daily planning because I already have a separate planner for that. Again, you can customize it based on how you want it and your needs. Basically, you can do whatever you want with it. So with those two things in mind, let's go ahead and start creating. I have some papers here from an old project years ago. My problem is that when I cut it in half, the heading is not centered so I will change the orientation and try to be creative with it. This is it guys! I finally finished my Warbinder Faith Journal or Prayer Journal all-in-one. I think I finished around 1.25 a.m. last night. I don't know if you can still consider it night. But it's all worth it because I enjoyed doing it. I am so excited. So let me show you a flip through of what I came up with. So these are the divider tabs I made. I'm so happy about them. I don't know why the white background didn't print on this but still i'm so happy as i said last year i intended to use this as my life journal so i named it as 2020 blessed life journal planner so i'm going to keep it as it is so of course this is where my name is and my contact details and the first category i have is life visions 
I don't know if you can see it here, but it's live visions. So the first part here is my I am biblical affirmations, which is basically just the same one from my video. I am biblical affirmation. You can also download the same and resize it based on your preference. I will link it down in the description box below. So these are just affirmations directly lifted from the Bible, but I personalize them by using the first pronoun. Next, I have faith board. So I removed the old one since some of the things no longer resonate with me. Basically, I will put pictures here of the dreams and things God said in my heart. It's like a mini version of my vision board. I also have a video where I shared my thought process about creating your own vision board. So feel free to check that out. This is just a Bible verse from an old code calendar I got from Dollar Tree last year. So might as well use it, right? So under life visions, I also have a brain dump of the kind of life I am praying for. So it's a great way to inspire me, especially when I feel frustrated. I'm sorry I have to cover them because they're extremely personal. Uh, I also have one for my life, for my brand, for my career. So they're, they're all written here just to inspire me. Next category is trackers. So this just shows the things I would like to track. First one is a book tracker just to track the books I've read. I actually read a lot of books lately, so it, it would be fun to write them here. And also, it will motivate me to read more quality books. Next is my goal tracker. So one of my goals this year is to be consistent on uploading on YouTube. So this is a fun way to track my effort. So I would like to focus more on my effort than results. So I got this one on Pinterest and I think it's a cool way to track different goals that you have. I will try to find the link if I can and put it down in the description below. Next, I also have one year Bible tracker. This year, I am so motivated to read the entire Bible and I already have a printed plan inside my Bible, but I think this would be a great visual to keep on track. I created this one and I am so excited to color it because I'm already halfway. The next part or sections are related to my prayer journal. So this is like my prayer journal section in this binder. So first one is adorations, which is basically to write down praises and worship to Jesus. I know this is one thing that I need to improve, so I want to practice and improve this habit here. I just put papers I got from Dollar Tree and I cut them in half. I think they're very cute and very cheap. Next is confessions. This is where I write things that I would like to ask for forgiveness. It is also like a reflection page on things that I need to confess about. Again, papers from Dollar Tree. Next is to listen, to listen to God. So basically, I am answering the question, what is God telling me? So this is where I write what is God telling me through prayers and Bible reading. Sometimes there are some things that bother me or big decisions that I am reflecting on. And a lot of times, God gives His hints and answers during my daily quiet time through prayers and Bible reading. It's easy to miss those, especially if I am not paying attention. So this would be a great spot. Next is Ask and Believe. So this is where my prayer request will be. So for myself, my family, my friends, church, nation, world, basically anything that I would lift up to God. So starting last year, I changed my prayer journal setup and I have one notebook for all this for like adoration, confession, thanksgiving, prayer request, they're all in one spot, but I realized that sometimes my prayers tend to be so repetitive. So I decided to allot another notebook for my everyday prayer writing. Next is Bible verses to memorize. I am doing my daily scripture writing and that is so helpful to remember Bible verses. I would like to allocate space here because I cannot memorize Bible verses daily. Here is a space to memorize the verses that God gave me when I asked Him through my daily devotions. So I just created this one. 
and printed them. Next is prayer tracker. I guess this is like a testimony page. It is a spot to write the prayers answered by God whether yes or no. God always answers our prayers. I think it is very important to track down those prayers whether He answered them the way we want Him to answer them or when He tells us to let go because it reminds us that we are not in control of anything and God knows what's best for us. Next is my spiritual wish list. So this is a spot to write things that I can invest to grow my faith. Maybe I want a new Bible. Maybe I want a new devotional book or maybe I need a new tool or supply. Anything that will help me grow in my faith, I can write them down here. So I don't need to buy them right away. By writing them down here, it gives me the opportunity to reflect if I really need it or if I can afford it right now. Next is Sparks of Inspiration. So I have a resource binder where I just put random things that I find useful. But this one would be related to things that will improve my faith. Maybe it's a quote, a poetry, a clip from a magazine, a um, link to a video. So this is like my junk journal version, but a simple one. Next is Bible study. I already have a Bible study notebook, but I included one here for printables or plans that I can follow. Next is verse mapping. I have a simple notebook uh, just for verse mapping, but I would like to include one here just in case I'm not bringing the other notebook. Next, I decided to include planning. So this is only for monthly planning because I have... Um, I have a weekly planner right now and what I like about this is it helps me to at least have an overview of what my month would look like and also it has a space to write down my goals. Last one is notes. Though I like journaling in many notebooks, <laughs> it is always helpful to have a few extra pages in case you need to write something. And last one, I also put an envelope, which I just literally saw last night. So might as well include it. Maybe I can put some bookmarks or stickers here. Um, or any other random stuff I can. So this is my setup right now. I might add or remove some in the future. As you can see, it's already bulky. So maybe I might remove planning. But I am happy with this setup right now. This journal also has a pen loop, but I'm not going to use it right now. I also found this cute headband <laughs> from Dollar Tree. I think it will work great as a band. I also have a pouch here to protect it maybe when I'm traveling. And also, I will put extra set of pens just in case I travel so it's all in one pouch this is such a fun project for me because I was able to use things I already have at home that just shows that there are a lot of treasures around you so this is it this is my faith journal or war binder I am so excited to use it and if you would like to see me use it don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kaylian Ramos. Are you using a war binder too? Comment down below and share with us the categories that you have in your war binder. And of course, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like it because that surely inspires me to create more quality content. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button below so you will be notified on my future videos. Thank you so much for giving me your precious time today and thank you for watching. Again, this is Kay Ramos and see you again next time. Bye! Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? Where is my